Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Rush 2 Max. Where guys, I am now a full-fledged Tunnel 9. I am working on getting all the buildings and I've even got myself a new Tunnel 9 base design. Yes, this is the one that I featured in my Town Hall 9 Let's Play last. Or, uh, I think it was technically called a Dark Elixir Time series, where that's all I needed to do is farm Dark Elixir. But yeah, so here we are, we got it, we got the base design, and, um, I have now only five minutes until a lot of these buildings are done upgrading. In fact, I've got two builders coming available right now. Uh, one of them that's the lab, which is apparently three minutes away, and then one of them that is the clan castle that is to, uh, five minutes away. Now, off camera, I did upgrade the new storages a couple of times, but I've got a long way to go, so I cannot quite hold that two million elixir uh, in my storage that was really hoping to get to for today. Uh, but we'll make do. We'll make it work, okay? So, uh, now, uh, I really don't have anything else to say except for, well, okay, let's go through the new buildings. For those of you that are familiar with Rush to Max, you're following along with the story. If you have not, if this is your first video that you've seen by me, then please consider subscribing and liking the video, but watch the playlist of Rush to Max. It has been a, a weird journey. That's, that's all I gotta say. It has been a weird journey journey but we're trying to get to tunnel, uh, tunnel uh, 13 as fast as possible and so the last things we need to do is get the new buildings and that is including the dark elixir drill and all uh six i think yeah all six of the new defenses if you can call an air sweeper a defense i mean it doesn't hurt anybody it just pushes them back but anyway so that's what we got going on um and so if i burn four minutes then i can actually use three builders today the last builder is still working on the spell factory, which is a huge upgrade. I'm totally cool with it taking up a builder for that amount of time. So, um, guys, let's go do some raiding. I am now able to hold a maximum of 200 troops. I've finally made it to 200. 100 barbarians, 100 archers. Upgrading that army camp last episode was key. It was beautiful. So, I'm probably gonna get close to maxing out my dark elixir, but I think this is a perfect base. Look at this, these walls. Level one, most of them. This is perfect. So, let's put down a few troops to take out these corner buildings, okay? I've got three corner buildings to deal with. And, you know what, I bet you this is going to take a while because dark barracks generally have a lot of hit points. So, I want to clear up the corner buildings before I wrap up a base with Barch. Also, I don't have any heal spells yet. My spell factory is still upgrading. It's really terrible. It's a terrible thing. It's the worst thing ever to upgrade is your spell factory. It's the worst. Uh, but we're going to, uh, we're, we're, we'll deal, we'll deal with it. So, as soon as this baby's done, okay, it's pretty close, let's go ahead and attack. Let's get these barbarians in here, and then, uh, you know what, before I put down the archers, I'm actually gonna send in the king to combat the enemy king. This guy actually looks like he's probably following Rush to Max. If, uh, if you're out here, if you're, this is a rushed account, if you're out there and you are, uh, following along with me, let me know in the comments that I just attacked your base, because I feel like this may be... A subscribers base anyway so uh, looks good guys looks good very weak defenses very weak walls um, this is a recipe for success for any attacker this is this is why I say uh, don't do this at home kids right I'm, I'm rushing to max uh, but I don't recommend people follow along it's it's not it's not a pretty picture that is for sure I'm gonna go ahead and pop this King's ability remember we still have the power potion effect for four days I've got two days left so uh, that means that I still have powered up heroes, I still have powered up troops, or um, sped up uh, training potions, and all the things. I got tons of tons of benefits. So there we go, guys. We just three starred. That's what's up. And we got loads of elixir, dude. Look at that, three hundred and seventy-five thousand elixir. That's beautiful. And then the uh, three star too. That's gonna go a long way toward our star bonus. In fact, there you go, seven hundred and twenty thousand free golden elixir. Oh, this is so great, dude. Check out this. Check out this treasury. I've got so much loot in my treasury, it's stupid, right? Oh, I've got no problem with loot. Okay. So, um, should I attack again? I mean, I don't even, yeah, all right, let's go. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to waste my loot. Oh, almost, that was almost a mistake. Okay. I've gotten a second builder, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna burn a little bit of elixir and a little bit of dark elixir right now. My dark elixir, I'm going to burn on my king, okay? It's 16,000 dark elixir. I don't wanna max out my storage, so I definitely, do wait a minute, did I finish my storage? No, I'd, I didn't upgrade the storage last episode. I should have, man, that would have been smart. All right, well, let's go. 16,000 dark elixir to upgrade this king, make some room in the storage in three, two, one, bam. Okay, so the king's upgrading, and I did the king, by the way, because he was cheaper than the queen. Basically, that's the only reason. 
Um, the other thing I want to do is get the new Dark Elixir Drill. Reason being, it's the last free, or um, I'm sorry, it's the last Elixir-based building that I need to get. And you know what? I'm going to put it up here. That's a good spot for it. And you know what? I'll bounce it back a, a click a space as well. Okay, so let's get this last new Elixir building. That way, all we know now is that the new buildings are based on gold. It's easier to balance your loot if you keep track of it this way. So three, two, one, bam. Okay, so both builders are now used uh, used up, and I now have plenty of storage to do whatever I want to do going forward. Now, I do have one builder coming up available in 10 seconds, uh, so we're going to have to make a decision on what to do with that final builder. For now, though, let's go get some more loot and potentially some more, uh, well, obviously, if we want to win the raid. We want to get more trophies, right? But uh, more, more loot, and I've got my hog riders if I really need... The help. Now, the biggest issue, as usual, is the further you rush up, the harder the bases are that you're going to end up attacking. So, like, for instance, once we get to Town Hall 13, it's going to be brutal, man. I mean, we're only going to be able to hit, like, Town Hall 9, so it's bad. It's really bad. The, the difference in strength between each Town Hall level gets worse as you go. So, um, once I am a rushed all-to-heck Town Hall 13, which will happen eventually... Um, we're gonna, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. It's gonna be bad. Um, uh, alright, so what about... Hmm. I actually would like to attack this base from the top, because there's a dark collector storage, there's loads of collectors and mines, and as long as I can keep the, the splash damage busy, I'll be alright. So let's go ahead and send the queen in there. Uh, and then the king, I'm sorry, the barbarians, the baby king, right? The baby kings. Barbarians and archers. There we are. And I also want to send in the... Hog Riders. So I'm, I'm actually watching. I want the Queen to get this Wizard Tower. Very good. And then I'm going to deploy these Hogs to where they target this Mortar. This base has lots of defenses in the very, very middle. And this is going to make it really easy. Look at this. Targeted those Mortars. Taking it down. That was beautiful. Oh, but we hit a Spring Trap. That's the worst. That is literally the worst. I am very upset right now. Okay, well, at least this queen will get, be able to get this mortar. I'm going to poison over this king, and now most of our splash damage is down here. Now, it does very weak, so it's a ch there's a chance that our troops will survive. We may actually just three-star another base. That is awesome. By the way, look at these uh, these uh, these archers. They look so good. Like, the bright purple hair, right? We had hoods, and now we're we have, our hair changed color, which is awesome. Uh, oh, wow. Town Hall is the last building. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Oh, that's glorious. Look at that three-star. That's going to go toward our star bonus for sure. 400,000 golden elixir, dude. That is beautiful. But here's the thing. My laboratory upgrade finished. So now I have the power potion effect. So I've got massive barch. I mean, they're, they're so strong at Town Hall 9 once you, ma uh, once you upgrade the troops. So there we go. That was awesome. Three-star once again. And now I'm only one star away from another star bonus. So... Like I've said before, uh, as soon as you go to the new town hall, your limiter isn't your loot. Your limiter is your builders. <laughs> it's it's time, right? So now that I've done that, I've done my tax. Let's see where we are, we are, where we stand. First of all, I've got nothing. So let's go ahead and request for some troops. Uh, actually, I don't think I requested enough troops. Yeah, I need. I actually should have adjusted my uh, my my uh, my request, but because my clan castle finished upgrading. So I can now hold on to an extra hog if I want to. I can bring six hogs now. This is amazing. So uh, the question needs to be, oh, looks like um, the uh, the healing spell. Remember, the healing spell was a four-day upgrade. The laboratory we started, it was a two-day upgrade. So the healing spell ran simultaneously with the laboratory. Now there's two days left. I told you guys it would work out perfect. Told you guys. Nobody wanted to listen. Nobody ever listens. They're always like, I didn't know you could do that. Yes, I've proven it. A dozen times on the channel now. They run at the same time. As long as you start the project first, then upgrade the lab, you're golden. They will run simultaneously. So I forgot, actually, that the healing spell would be running at the same time. So that means that I've got extra elixir. But that's cool. It's always a good thing. So I can either do one of two things. I can either upgrade something that I think is very important right now, or I could get one of the new defenses. And either one, honestly, would be great. Um, I'm thinking... Probably getting a defense would be smartest. I don't know, actually. I mean... None of the other upgrades... Okay, so I had to think about it for a second. None of the other upgrades that I have are super high priority. Like, I know that like the Dark Spell Factory needs to be upgraded, but honestly, I'm not going to use the Earthquake spells much, so I can wait a little while on that if I want to. 
Um, obviously upgrading uh, army camps would be fantastic too, but plus five troop capacity for over two million elixir, that's expensive. So maybe not that. Um, obviously the, the barracks and the dark barracks would be great, but we're getting along pretty well with Barch right now. So I'm thinking that we should move toward our ultimate goal, and that goal is to upgrade the town hall again. So to do that, as usual, we have to get the new defenses. So let's go ahead and grab... I'm going to do one of the shorter upgrade times, and the reason for that is so that I have the extra builders off camera to maybe upgrade some more of those storages. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this new air defense. It's going to go, well, okay, it, it knew where it needed to go. The, you can tell where the other air defenses are. They're making a square, so this one's in the perfect spot. So we're going to get this air defense, guys. It's a three-hour upgrade. It's barely going to use any of our loot, but that's fine. Again, like I've said many, many times, loot isn't the issue. The issue really is time and builders. So let's do this guys. Let's get this air defense in three, two, one. I'm not even gonna spend loot on walls. Ha, bam. Nice. All right, so we got an air defense. That's always a good thing. Although level one barely does anything. It's better than not having it at all. Uh, also upgrading the king so that we don't max out our dark elixir. I think that upgrading the, the storage maybe next episode would probably be a priority, like a top priority, but I think that we can, I mean, I've got 16,000 dark elixir storage space right now. I, I'm pretty sure I'm good for the next couple of days, uh, without fear of maxing. And, uh, what else did we do? I forgot. What else did we do? I forgot. <laughs> oh, the new Dark Elixir Drill. That's amazing. And then, of course, the air defense. That's awesome. So, guys, in the next episode, whether it's tomorrow or the day after, uh, we'll, we'll continue to try to keep our laboratory busy. We'll, I'll, obviously, I'll keep doing storages off camera. And we're going to continue to progress through Town Hall 9 in the event that we finish these eventually. And then, of course, I got to upgrade my storages so that I can hold enough gold. We're going to Town Hall 10, baby. We're making progress faster than I ever expected. So, uh, guys, that's going to do it for me today in this episode of our of Rush to Max. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it, and hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And join the hashtag KlausFamily. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos. And consider becoming a supporter either through YouTube member or Patreon to support the channel financially. It makes a world of difference for me as a content creator and for all of your favorite content creators. Be sure you're supporting them. And lastly, speaking of support, don't forget to use creator code to support your favorite content creator. If you choose to support me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Use code Klaus. There's a link in the description to input that code automatically. But remember that that code expires after seven days. So you always want to make sure and go into your shop. Look for the little white C before you make your purchase. If it's there, you're golden. If it's not, then you need to input the code. Again, you can use the link in the description or do it manually. But because mine is there, I'm good to go. Time to buy some stuff. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and uh, I'll see you all again next time.